How's she doing? She hasn't come out of the room yet. Jake and Papa. Well, hold up a minute. Since when you start telling me what you finna do? Every time I close my eyes, all I see is him. She's free, ladies and gentlemen. Episode seven, Freed Keisha. And now we're on to episode eight. And this is the trailer review where we slow it down and break it down to see if we can find clues to let us know what's going to happen in the next episode. I guess the only question with the shy now is where are we going to go from here in terms of Keisha storyline and what's going to be the next big storyline. We'll see if there's any clues in this trailer. We'll break it down right now. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you guys get them. Tonight I'll be going live with Larry and Sharonda from Pair Weight to discuss episode seven of The Shy. And we're gonna also talk about P Valley and what happened last night on that show. Let's watch the rest of this trailer and then we'll frame by frame break it down. I was finally ready to leave Chicago and now I'm stuck here forever. And that's the thing about the city. Grabs a hold of you, never lets you go. Nothing fancy about this trailer, ladies and gentlemen. First clip, you just see Dre, Keisha's mom, just talking about the mental torment this girl is going through right now. And she has not come out of her room. And who can blame her? Considering what she went through, wouldn't you be nervous about leaving a place of safety? And the next clip, you see her holding some scissors, ready for something coming through that door. She's traumatized. They're going to have to get a lot of counseling to help this young girl go through. And I'm wondering how this is going to propel her into next season if she decides to stay on the show. Next clip, we see Kevin just basically telling his mama, yo, I'm about to go hang with the boys. And the mom's like, since when did you tell me that you're going to do something? You ain't grown yet, little rug rat. Kev keeps on walking. And then you see him hanging with the boys. So obviously he walked out the house. Mom is probably distraught too, ladies and gentlemen. So you've got one child who was on the verge of Stockholm Syndrome, and now you got a growing young man with no male presence in the house to taper his ass. Um, this could be a diabolical story about the happening. You see him laying there with Papa and Jake smoking on some dro. Um, like I said, Kevin is growing up to be a man quick. It's just which direction is he gonna go? Then they flash back to Keisha just laying in a bathtub, just agonizing. Got something covering her eyes. She don't even want to see the light of day right now. And then you see her sitting at the table just discussing what she went through. And then my favorite part of this, you see the, kid, the kidnapper is killed. His punk ass, his bitch ass is dead. And apparently Chicago PD Ain't going to be coming after this young lady for her escaping. There it is right there on the computer. He's gone. And you hear Keisha just talking about how she was all about to get up out of this city, get up out where they was at and go to new beginnings. And now she's just distraught. She doesn't know what to do. She's looking in the mirror, reflecting on what she's gone through. Next clip, we see Ronnie just talking to her about how this city, it gets a hold of you. Now, we could be sitting here looking at two characters who might be leaving the city. Ronnie has an opportunity to go. He's a hero now. He saved this girl. And I think it's pretty cool that they have allowed him to come and just sit and talk to Keisha if she's going to respond to him. And he's telling her about how the city engulfs you. And maybe she'll go over time. Maybe he'll go. And then you see her burning clothes. Probably this is what she got captured in. She's getting rid of it lighting the fire to it and you see the mom walking in to see her setting it on blaze i was wondering if keisha's gonna cut her hair apparently she's not gonna do that part maybe he's already cut enough of her locks and she don't want to lose that part of who she is and you see them standing there watching these things just burn up and go and smoke and then you see keisha finally gets outside puts on a hat and you see dre and the mom trying to comfort her um, maybe helping this girl get acclimated back to being in normal society. So it looks like a lot of what we're going to see on this episode is just a rehabilitation process of Keisha and helping this girl get through this diabolical situation she has gone through. And I'm very glad that that kidnapper is dead, but we still have other storylines that we can watch out from. 
what's going on with Emma Mama and Rico Suave, that's probably got to be something big. Um, what's going to be happening with Emmett himself and Dom, and he's got to get back to Tiff. Is Tiff going to smash her client? They didn't just bring him in there for a 30-second something-something. He's going to be back for something. And what's going to happen with Jake, Kevin, and Gemma? And the storyline with Jake and Duda, that ain't going nowhere either. All these things are probably going to lead to next season. Leave me all your comments on what you think is going to happen as we'll watch to see where they go to set us up for next season. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, share. Be sure to catch us live tonight as we go on at 9 p.m. Me, the living legend Larry, and Sharonda from Pay or Wait. And also follow me on the gram. If you have stories you want me to cover from any show, anything dealing with stocks, hit me on the gram. I'm able to respond pretty quick over there. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.